Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. Man, it's May. <laughs> Another month has gone by, as my niece reminded us. It's been a month since my sister passed. But um, each day, we get better. We heal a little bit more. And we thank God for that. But going forward, this month we talk about the power of power. I always thought that was funny because this whole year is dedicated to the 12th powers or principles as we have in the unity um, wording and teachings and this one's called power and so we're going to explore this more today and I'll see what happens next week but the first thing that came to mind when we were doing this and you'll probably laugh is I thought of that song remember it called I've got the power boom he used to dance to it. It's a 90 song, so I'm dating myself. But I had to look it up, and I found the video, and it's by Snap. I never even knew who it was by. And I was like, oh, my gosh, look at the outfits and everything. And, and we dance to this song called I Got the Power. So today, we got the power. See? And we can move with it, and we can just grasp it. And you know what this power is that we're talking about, right? This is the power of God. And so I want you, as you know, what I love to do is ask a question. And that's what we're going to explore today when we talk about power. And you saw my picture about the little um, light bulb. Are you plugged in? That's what I want you to think about when we think about this power source. Are you plugged in? So we'll go into that more when we go into the message. But first, we're going to listen to the daily word from Friday because it talks about power and it's read by Reverend Paulette Pipe. So listen to this and the, the um, affirmation for it is, I have the power to shape my life. So listen. Hello, beloveds. It's the end of the week. And the word today from the Daily Word magazine published by Unity is power. Power. The affirmation declares... I have the power to shape my life. I have the power to shape my life. I am blessed with spiritual powers that I use to create my world. As I choose my thoughts, feelings, words and actions, I am using my powers creatively and with intention. For instance, I express the power of love to contribute to a world of harmony and peace. I connect with my restorative power of life to send healing energy throughout my body. I use my power of understanding to deepen my awareness of my spiritual nature. When faced with a decision to make, I discern the options available to me through my power of wisdom, and I use my power of will to choose the best one. My power of faith helps me believe those I hold in prayer are abundantly blessed. I am a divine being blessed with spiritual gifts that make me powerful beyond measure. Today's scripture comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20 in the New Testament. For the kingdom of God depends not on talk but on power. 
Thank you, Paulette, for reading the Daily Word. She had sent it to me on Friday when she saw my title, and I hadn't even read it that day, so I thought I would share it. She'd probably say, why didn't you call me? I could have done one especially for today. But thank you, Reverend Paulette. Here it is, and we've shared it. So let's take a moment right now and take a breath and pray. Ah. Heavenly Father, Spirit Divine, that is present here right now with each and every one of us, we give thanks for this day, for this breath, for these moments that we live and breathe. We give thanks as we move forward each day through the pandemic, through all circumstances in life, as we heal and find joy in the smallest things as we seek first the power and the presence of God. In the quiet of prayer, we are guided always to make choices that recharge and renew us in every way. So we breathe in this connection to the indwelling spirit of God right now. And we give thanks as we open our hearts and our minds more fully to God's guidance. We bless, as always, the doctors and nurses and caregivers, caregivers, our friends and our families and our co-workers, we bless all people in this world as we go through the ups and downs of all the changes that we hear every moment in our world through social media and news. The world is, we know, a blessed and wonderful place. If we could step away more often to this time in the silence and prayer and see the wonders of God and give thanks for the beauty of our world, even in the midst of all the things that are going on. So we bless us all to continue to have courage and strength to keep on moving forward through this pandemic, through illnesses, through weather situations, through wars and anger and politics and all that is going on in our world. We give thanks to God for his renewing and recharging of our inner strength and power to discover peace in the midst of all that is going on. And as we breathe in, we reconnect each time to God and know that when we do that, we are one with that higher power and we feel peace wash over us right here, right now. So as we pray, we plug in and feel the presence of God in the most profound ways, deep from within. As it says in 2 Chronicles 640, Oh my God, let your eyes be open and your ears attentive to the prayer from this place. So as we are guided by God, we are plugged in, recharged, loved, and blessed each moment. Amen. Ah, I like this power because it's so much about a connection with God. But before I start rambling on, we're going to listen to a song by Claudia Caravan called As You Believe. And if this is about power. You have to believe in the power of God and know that power to believe that we can get through anything and achieve and manifest all that we desire in life. Here we go. fly you belong 
to the sky Many wonders lie waiting Within your mind's eye And as you believe Keep hanging on. Believe. Know that we will get through this. I love that song and the words. As you believe, you will achieve and manifest all that you desire. So that's where we come to this power source. And I look at that picture again. It's that light bulb. And as you plug it in, the light shines. That's what happens when we plug into our source. And that source is God. So are you plugged in? So if you aren't plug in right now. Plug into that source and open your heart and your mind and your soul to the presence of God. So we're going to open with an affirmation that says, As I plug into God, I am spiritually recharged. Let's say that together. As I plug into God, I am spiritually recharged. And that's where we are today, when we really know that even in the midst of all that is going on in our world, when we plug into God, we are recharged, we are refreshed, and we begin to believe that things will change, that things are changing. And as it says in Psalm 119, verse 25, revive me according to your word. The Spirit of God speaks to us. As I say, listen to that still, small voice. Let God's words guide you. 
go deep within you when things get rough out there, when you start hearing too much coming through the news of the bad and the negative, seep into and step into that Christ presence. Open your heart to a faith and a power that brings you more peace, that revives you according to God's word. So what does power mean when, when we talk about it and, and using revealing word metaphysical interpretations? This is one of those 12 powers. What does it mean? That power is our innate control of our thoughts and our feelings. Basically, that's what it is. You have the power. Boom, boom. Yes, I can't sing. So, But anyway, you have the power over your thoughts and your feelings. You know, many of us go through life and we, we're following the what everybody else is doing or we're following the decorate our house because that's what's the in thing or we're going to different um, events because that's where everybody goes. We need to know that we go within first and are guided to the right places for us because you have the power over your thoughts and your feelings and with that you have the directions and the guidance from God to go where you're meant to be at any point in your life realize your dominion realize the magnificence of you as it says in Acts 1 8 ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you you Ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come unto you. Now, some people in the other faith might think you have to get baptized or get saved and, and all of these other rituals and stuff. But really, you are a child of God, an individualized expression of God. So you don't have to do anything in the material world. You need to go to that spiritual world that's deep within you where God is all power and all things are possible through God, through him. You can transform anything in your world by shifting your consciousness. By allowing the truth of the resurrection and the ascension that we've all talked about from Easter and we talk about every year and you've heard about since you were a little person, whether you went to church or not, about um, Easter Sunday and God not being in tomb and rising up. You have that power to resurrect and ascend through your mind, through the power of your mind. And by doing that, you can shift and change your life and manifest all that you desire in your life. And when you do that, your power is an increase through exalted ideas. You get your imagination moves and you start to feel more powerful and in control of your life. Because look at it. A lot of us are guided by how many people have COVID. What's going on? Who died? Who? And, you know, there's a lot of shooting going around and anger and politics and all that. And we're God, we hear all of this and we're like, oh, my God, the world's coming to an end. How are we going to get through that? How are we going to ever get through that? But when you go to the power within, your mind shifts to more positive thoughts and more exalted ideas. And your relationship to the world and with your mind shift and they become more peaceful more spiritualized I can say more loving more harmonious those that's what you need to do in the midst of all that's going on there is no separation between the spiritual realm and the material realm that means through thinking of God and this earthly plane that we're on there is no separation when we know where our power source is so I ask you again are you plugged in we must understand always that you have dominion over your thoughts and over your action because man is the power of God in action do you believe that you are the power of God in action. You have choices all the time. You are given that the highest power through your conscious thought. What are you thinking? What are you believing? 
What are you allowing to manifest in your mind? Is it things that are going to get you to do what you truly want to do in your life? Or are you going to get dragged down by all the environment that's out there now? Because it's a lot heavier than normal years I, for all of us. And so we have to get that power within us. The spiritual power that is omnipresent, that is always there. And erase all negative thoughts and become one with God mind. That's all we need to do. Seems so simple, huh? Seems so simple. So when you find yourself getting into the negative and feeling bad, turn on that song. I've got the power. I know I'm being silly, but... Sometimes just simple little words can shift your consciousness and your thoughts to a different vibration that's more uplifting and inspiring and truly who you are. And it erases all those depleting and oh, those painful and false thoughts. So I invite you to choose thoughts that lift you up. Choose thoughts that bring you peace and harmony and love. Clear your mind of the negative and bring your thoughts to that more positive and spiritual sense that is yours. So live in the conscious awareness of mindfulness, of peacefulness, of being knowing what you are thinking so that you can shift and change rapidly and become plugged in and recharged. And when you do that, you heal your mind and your body and your spirit. It is such a wonderful thing. Many times I think of my sister and I'll get tears in my heart because we're all still healing because it was so sudden. And and then I have to smile and I remember something she said or I see a picture of her smiling and, and all the wonderful things she shared with me in her life. And, and I have to, and I get to transform. And at that moment, I am plugged into God. I am, I reconnect to my truth of who I truly am and know that I can get through this with God. Always, I have that power. And my sister is always going to be with me. Now, not in the physical, but ah, always in my heart. And for each of us, we've all in this world lost family members, friends, especially this, the past year through this pandemic. We have the power to shift how we think of it as sad and, oh my God, they're gone. To shift it to seeing the truth of their life and the life that they lived and, and sometimes it would have been hard lies, but then you will see the good and you will see the smile that you saw that means always something good to see and feel and be. So know and look for the perfection and the wholeness within each, every, in each and every person. Those either, no matter if they transitioned or not, know that perfection is taking place when we have the power to change our minds. So are you connected to your power source? Are you connected to God? Are you plugged in? Luke eleven thirty four says, your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. And that's what my picture depicts, depicts, plugging in, lighting up your world, even in the midst of darkness, letting the, the true dominion of God to be with you, releasing disharmony and sickness and connecting and being recharged you know, most of the things that we see now, instead of plugging them into the wall, we're plugging them in to be recharged and rebooted. That's another word we can use. Rebooted. 
you know, your iPhone, your iPad, your everything else has to be recharged to keep it going so that we can be plugged in. And so that's what we're doing. So just like this verse says, the eye is the, your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. So whatever you plug into, if it is positive and good and inspiring and energizing for you and puts a smile on your face, then you are healthy and you're filled with the light of God. So I got the power. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's take a moment now and meditate and breathe in these thoughts of having power and dominion in our lives and knowing that through God all things are possible, that we can move through so many things to this wonderful place of peace and harmony. So breathe in and out, breathe in and out. As we breathe in, we connect to God, the source of all power. In this silent moment of our minds, we know that we are one with God. We know our oneness with God the source of all power. Breathe. In the silence, you are the inlet and outlet for spiritual power. Breathe. In the silence, power is born in you. For there is only one source, one power source, and that's God, Spirit, Truth, Universal Energy. Breathe. Know always that the presence of God is in you, with you, around you, and you are God. In that presence, and you have the power. Breathe. as we take another breath in and out we open our eyes and come back to this place and time blessed and more powerful connected to the spirit plugged in and recharged amen so our closing affirmation today is power flows through me as I speak words of truth that bring change in my life and create change in the world around me. I'll say it again. Power flows through me as I speak words of truth that bring change to my life and create change in the world around me. 
Amen. Amen. So let's close with a prayer of protection. The light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. The presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is. And you are richly blessed right now. And so it is. Amen. I look forward to being with you next week. Namaste.